An elderly woman took in a small, helpless kitten, but when the unusual pet grew up, she nearly screamed in horror. Marta, a woman of advanced age, lived in a cozy house on the edge of a small town. After her husband's death, she was left all alone, and her days became monotonous and quiet. Her only comfort was the flowers in her garden, which she cared for with special tenderness. Every morning, Marta would wake up with the first rays of the sun, make herself a cup of fragrant tea, and step out onto the veranda. She would sit for long periods in her old rocking chair, watching nature awaken and remembering the happy years she had spent with her husband. Neighbors invited Marta for tea and offered to go to the store with her, but she increasingly refused, preferring to remain in solitude. Loneliness gradually became her faithful companion. One chilly autumn evening, Marta heard a strange sound coming from the yard. Throwing a warm shawl over her shoulders, she stepped onto the porch and listened. The sound repeated, it was a pitiful squeak, like the cry of a kitten. The wind picked up, and large drops of rain began to beat against the roof. Marta hesitated, wondering if it was worth going outside in such weather, but the squeaking grew louder. Deciding to investigate, she took a flashlight and stepped into the darkness. Carefully treading on the wet grass, Marta circled the house. In the flashlight's beam, she saw something moving near an old oak tree. Looking closely, the woman saw a tiny fluffy ball, shivering from the cold and fear. Marta's heart melted. She gently picked up the little one and held it to her chest. It was a tiny kitten with exceptionally soft gray-brown fur. Its big eyes looked up at the woman with fear. Suddenly, there was a loud clap of thunder. The kitten trembled and clung to Marta's sweater with its claws. She quickly hurried back into the house, feeling the little heart beating next to her own. The woman washed the kitten with warm water, dried it with a soft towel, and fed it warm milk. The kitten drank eagerly, then curled up on Marta's lap and fell asleep. Marta didn't sleep a wink all night, listening to the kitten's breathing. She feared that the little one might get sick after being in the cold for so long. Luckily, by morning the kitten appeared healthy and even playful. The next morning, the kitten was even more energetic. It curiously explored its new home, tentatively stepping across the carpet. Marta decided to name him Oliver. The name came to her mind for some reason. She called the local veterinary clinic and made an appointment. She wanted to make sure that the kitten was okay. Dr. Brown examined Oliver and said that he was healthy but required special care due to his young age. The days went by, but now Marta's life had a new meaning. She enjoyed watching Oliver grow and develop. The kitten turned out to be remarkably smart and playful. Soon Marta noticed that Oliver was a bit different from ordinary kittens. He had very round yellow eyes, fluffy cheeks, and short legs. But she thought it was just the characteristics of his breed and didn't pay much attention to it. Every day brought new discoveries. Marta watched in amazement as Oliver skillfully climbed the curtains despite his short legs. He could spend hours sitting on the windowsill watching birds and squirrels in the garden. Weeks passed. Oliver grew much faster than other cats his age. His fur became thicker and fluffier, especially on his cheeks and tail. Marta adored her pet and spoiled him with all sorts of treats. One day, Marta bought Oliver a new toy, a little mouse on a string. To her surprise, the kitten reacted to the toy with incredible excitement. He crouched low to the ground like a real hunter and darted at his prey with lightning speed. When Marta worked in the garden, the kitten sat nearby, closely watching her every move. In the evenings, he would curl up on her lap while she read or watched television. Marta began to notice that Oliver's presence had a positive effect on her well-being. She thought less about her loneliness, moved more, and smiled more often. Even the pain in her joints seemed to lessen. One day during a walk in the garden, Oliver suddenly froze. Marta saw a faint silhouette of a field mouse darting through the grass. The kitten reacted instantly, catching the prey in a single leap. This incredible hunting instinct surprised Marta. One day, Marta decided to take Oliver with her to the store. She bought a special leash for him. However, the kitten absolutely refused to wear it showing his independent nature and avoiding any attempt to leave the house on a leash. One day, Marta noticed that Oliver reacted strangely to loud noises. He flattened his ears and hid at the sound of the vacuum cleaner or the telephone ringing. This seemed a bit odd to her, but she decided that the kitten was just timid. 
As winter approached, Oliver's fur became even fluffier. It acquired a beautiful silvery hue. Marta could spend hours admiring her pet as he gracefully moved around the house or played with his toy mouse. One morning, Marta woke up to a strange noise. Looking out the window, she saw that Oliver had somehow gotten outside and was racing around the snow-covered yard. The kitten was clearly enjoying the frosty weather, which was very unusual. Marta hurried outside to bring the pet back inside. To her surprise, Oliver was in no hurry to return to the warmth. He was joyfully rolling in the snow and catching snowflakes with his paws. Only after much persuasion did the kitten allow himself to be brought back inside. This incident made Marta think. She began to notice other oddities in Oliver's behavior. He showed no interest in catnip, which ordinary cats loved. Instead, he enjoyed chewing on twigs and grass that Marta brought in from the garden. One day, Marta accidentally dropped a vase. The loud crash startled Oliver, and he immediately hid under the couch. But instead of the usual meowing, the kitten made a strange sound resembling a growl of a wild predator. This puzzled Marta even more. One day, Marta's old friend Susan came to visit. Seeing Oliver, she exclaimed in surprise, My goodness, Marta. What kind of animal is that? He doesn't look like a regular cat at all these words made Marta seriously think. She began to pay more attention to her pet. Indeed, there was something unusual, even wild, about his appearance. The round face, small ears, and bushy tail didn't quite fit the image of a domestic cat. Marta decided to take Oliver to the vet. Dr. Brown, the local expert on pets, examined the cat for a long time. His expression grew more and more puzzled. You know, Mrs. Thompson. He finally said, I'm not sure, but this fluffy little one might not be an ordinary cat. We need to do some further tests. The next few days, Marta spent in anxious anticipation. She couldn't stop thinking about the vet's words. What if Oliver wasn't really an ordinary cat? What should she do then? Finally, the test results arrived. Dr. Brown invited Marta to the clinic for an important conversation. With her heart pounding, she walked into the office, holding Oliver in her arms. Mrs. Thompson, the vet, began. The results are astonishing. Your Oliver is not a domestic cat. He is a palace's cat, a rare wild feline native to the steppes of Central Asia. Marta felt dizzy from the news. Dr. Brown explained that Palace's cats are an endangered species listed in the Red Book. They are poorly adapted to captivity and need special care. You've done an amazing job raising this beauty, the vet said, but now we need to figure out what to do next. Marta was in turmoil. She had grown so attached to Oliver that the thought of parting with him seemed unbearable. But at the same time, she understood that she couldn't provide the proper care he needed. Moreover, keeping a wild animal at home was illegal. After much thought and consultation with experts, Marta made a difficult decision. She agreed to transfer Oliver to a wildlife rehabilitation center where he could receive the proper care and be prepared for release into the wild. The day of their parting was the hardest day of Marta's life. She couldn't hold back the tears as she said goodbye to her fluffy friend. Oliver, sensing the importance of the moment, quietly purred and rubbed against her hands. The center's staff assured Marta that they would take good care of the palace's cat and keep her updated on his progress. Several months passed. Marta received detailed reports about how Oliver was adapting to his new environment. He had grown noticeably, become stronger, and began to show the true behaviors of a wild animal. Specialists were confident that he would soon be ready for release into the wild. Marta was invited to participate in this important event. She arrived at the reserve where Oliver was to be released. Her heart was full of excitement and sadness. When the cage was opened, Oliver hesitated at first. He carefully sniffed the unfamiliar scents around him. Then, as if gathering his courage, he took a few steps and stopped, looking around. Marta struggled to hold back her tears. Suddenly, a shadow flickered in the distance. It was a wild palace's cat. Oliver tensed, and then, to everyone's surprise, he confidently ran towards his fellow feline. Within moments, both animals disappeared into the tall grass. Marta stood for a long time, gazing into the distance. She understood that she had made the right decision by giving her pet a chance at a natural life. This experience had changed her forever, teaching her to appreciate the beauty of wild nature and the importance of preserving rare species of animals.